Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to show you how you can check and review your PC's reliability history if you're running Windows 10 and Windows 11. And in case you're unaware, your reliability history provides you with an overview of problems your device has faced over the last couple of days and weeks. Now you can follow the steps in this video for both operating systems because it's exactly the same on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And to get to your reliability history, the easiest would be is just to head to your search or your start menu and type in reliability. And there we go, view reliability history, click on that and that will take a second or two to generate the reliability monitor and that report. Now once that opens, you're going to see a graph and a chart. And it says here at the top, it says the stability index assesses your system's overall stability on a scale from 1 to 10. By selecting a specific period in time, you may review the specific hardware and software problems that have impacted your system. And just to take note, a perfect score of 10, which is this part at the top here, this little graph, a perfect score of 10 indicates no issues. And obviously, if it drops, it indicates problems. Now, you can see that over the last couple of days, mine has been up and down, up and down, up and down, and has dropped, uh, gone up slightly down again today. And that's because I've got driver issues on this device after updating to Windows 11 24H2, which I've spoken about previously on the channel. And those are the sound research drivers, which are basically a known issue that Microsoft has um, confirmed. But I forced the update for the purpose of this channel, so that's just something I have to live with um, until hopefully that gets resolved sooner than later. Now, just to focus a little bit more on what's going on here. So yeah, we can see view by days or view by weeks. I'm going to keep it at days, um, which is the default. And yeah, we've got your date at the bottom. And yeah, on the right, you can see the top kind of line is application failures. The next one is Windows failures. The next one is miscellaneous failures, warnings, and information. Now, if I just start here on the 27th of December, just to click on one or two of these, we can see that Windows stopped working. So that's a stop error, which means it's a blue screen, and that's one of the side effects and the known issues that the sound research drivers are causing after upgrading to 24H2, it blue screens. So every time I start my screen recorded, well, not every time, I'd say every one out of three attempts, it crashes my system. And we can see stopped working. And then if we head to another day, let's just click on this one. And here we can see explorer.exe stopped responding. That's because it froze for whatever reason. And yeah, you can see SECOCL64EXE stopped working. Now that's the sound research drivers that I'm talking about. And if I just click on another date, we can see the same. The sound research drivers stopped working. And let's just go back here. We can see Windows stopped working. So you can click on all the relevant um, little entries and it gives you all the day and it gives you this. Um, the details and the report and the summary down here below. And you can also see the little blue kind of exclamation mark means that my informational events were um, security intelligence update was successful on the given dates and that's across the board here at the bottom. So that's all A and OK. And something else you can take note of that is if you want to kind of get a bit more in-depth info, so on a blue screen, stop working, Windows stopped working, I can view technical details. And here we can see the computer has rebooted from a bug check, the bug check, and there's the error. And we've got different errors. A dump was saved, and that gives you where your um, actual dump report can be located. So you get the idea. And this is handy because if you want to find out what an error is, you can just highlight that, copy, and paste it into Google. Or you can send it off to Microsoft to, to help you with an issue. So this is quite a good reliability uh, report in history to check out um, the reliability of your actual laptop or your Windows PC. And if we head to one where I've got my sound research drivers not working, I can click on the technical information and yeah, we can see it gives me the, the error. I can copy and paste that as mentioned. It gives me all the information 
and uh, um, the faulting module path and it takes me right to that actual executive that's actually causing the issue so i think this is quite handy and fiddle around it gives you quite a lot of information and obviously if you see in my case um that you are gain you, you know your reliability and your score is dropping or you know is maybe one to five or whatever as in this case there's an issue and obviously something should be done about it now i know what the issue is on this device 24H2 is clashing with the sound research drivers, so I'm not too phased because I know exactly what's going on, and that's a Microsoft problem they have to fix and address. But obviously, if you are seeing any other errors here and you Google them, and obviously that can give you a nice indication of what you could maybe um, try to resolve or a, a direction in which you can move to try and increase the liability of your Windows 10 and your Windows 11 PC. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.